everybody, you have found what to play next, where we bring everything that is awesome, and I do mean awesome in gaming. This is Tangle Deep. We love small. Um, I had kept my eye on this for the longest time because I see it all the time popping up on good old games. For untold generations, my people have de lived deep within the earth, surrounded by verdant subterranean forests, sparkling waters, and crystalline luminance. We all have a special connection with this world, a bond with nature we call the touch. Do you have the shine, friend? Do you have the shine? In American, these are synonymous. Some are born with abundance of the touch, which fills them with a sense of adventure and urge to explore the wild down our home. All with the touch inherit the appearance of animals. How strange, so they have more wings. And sometimes we fully experience the touch and we're drawn to Tangle Deep, an ever-changing labyrinth that leads upward upwards to a world that no one has ever seen. I've never felt the touch, unlike many others in my home of Riverstone Camp, yet there is so much I want to learn about Tangle Deep. Today I have decided I will go there and find my own answers. Adventure mode. Okay, heroic mode, once you reach zero HP, you have permadeath. Only bank goods and town progress will be saved. It's challenging. It's also the intended way to experience. I like um, adventure mode. Uh, challenge request for experienced player requires a blank save spot. You get only one job with a set of random abilities. You lose half your money, unspent JP and XP progress, roguelike beginners, all traces of your end. Oh wow, hardcore is raw. Challenging quest for experienced players, only one job, and such a bit of ability. I think we'll do adventure mode. There's a weekly and daily challenge. They have a very involved mod community. One of the things that I thought was interesting. Uh, I can be a hunter. That's generally what I go with. But there are a lot of options. The soul keeper, an edged thane, spell shaper, brigand, floromancer uh, was interesting. They have a whole lot of passive abilities. Sword Dancer was a big draw. Um, that got huge right at the end of the 90s, and then they just promptly dropped it as a class. Vidoka is a um, martial arts specialist. I feel like this one would be fastest. We'll do um, more XP. Monsters are less aggressive. Get extra job points. Since it's our first time through, we should probably really just load up on stuff where we don't die very quickly. So we're called Mirai. That's apparently our name. But um, the graphics were really interesting. Uh, this I was waffling between this and Kinseed. Um, Kinseed is more of a crafting um, adventure game, and then I ran across um, Moon... I think it's called... Oh god, what's it called? It's not Moon Village. Um, it's going to be an online version. I'm going to do that instead, so I went with Tangledee. It's Nature's Bounty. Use the left stick to get a direction. Okay. So we have Caltrops. I get them. Percy, heal me. Change jobs while some clues later. Got Aaron. Tangle Deep has many tales as it has leaves and branches. Legends stand tall like ancient trees, but they're grounded in winding roots and countless stories. Would you like to make some stories of your own? Here's one way to make a name for yourself. Oh, and they get the uh, quest. That's really cool. Get meat kebabs, loving moss jelly, and cedar caverns. Grab one of those near the monster and see what happens. I'll take it. They really want to hear about, you know, what you do in Tango Deep. Apparently it's a big part of their, um, town life is to, you know, talk about what's going on in Tango Deep. We've got the smooth smooths. Okay, so you can buy Butler's Bell. I don't know what that does. Summons a whole bunch of food. Cat Pumpkin. Breeze Vile. So he has, um, some sort of special items as well, which is cool. Gotta go around to get to him. Yes, you've arrived. Best day ever. You and me are gonna get along so great. We're gonna take such good care of each other. Climbing all the way to the top, tippity top of Tangle Deep. Tangle Deep. See my loops, swords and boots. Be prepared for any route. You 
can do it. My sister and I love adventures like you. You're the coolest, the strongest, the best. Alrighty. I, I want to see, you know, see what's going on here. Okay, so she has um, the most amount of enchanted items, etc. Back there, obviously. Winding threads of destiny are brought with peril, and neither the cool nor the spoken word will save you. Trust only the blade of the axe, the feathers of the bow, and your own fighting spirit. So we can train intensely with the uh, Minute Elk. <gasps> Who are you, friend? Today's the big day. I'm so excited for you. Have you spoken with Erin at the campfire yet? She'll give you rumors that will help guide you in your journey into Tangle Deep. Cool, so we have to have our spirit guide um, give us a job. I've heard my rumors, some rumors myself. Everyone knows about the monsters and ruffians hanging out just in the follies. But beyond that, everything is shrouded in mystery. People have brought back powerful ancient gear, and there are stories of ruined old cities, valleys made of fungus, and metal that lives. If even half of that is true, well, you're in for some adventure that's sure. The greatest treasure of all is knowledge. What's up there? What's the end? Is there even an end? There's so much we don't know about what we came from. Your heroism will help us all. I'll do my best. Uh, two tutorial floors, no. I want to play the game because I want to see it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this as a series because I am going to pick Van Helsing back up as soon as I finish Shadowrun. So it depends on how much you want, you know, the homebrew look and feel. Um, water increases range dodge. Rooted. So the train is a factor. You do combat real fast, you see. Uh, for combat, you basically just bump into them. I can learn a new skill. I think I'm gonna acquire some first. Let me see. You can move at a diagonal, which is good. I hate when you can't, you know, it's just so sensible that you would be able to do it and you just can't. Okay, so you can check and see if there's stuff inside of the crates. It's interesting that they have them here. That's more of a like beginner's luck style deal. Cedar Caverns one out use your skills in your hot bar. I want food. I don't want you to touch me. Slimes will sometimes dissolve your equipment. That's raw. Ooh, I got a sword. Brilliant. Glowing power boards restore stamina, stamina, stamina and energy when you step on them. You will find power-ups at random by defeating monsters, or striking with a melee weapon like a sword or an axe, etc, 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 so on. So, loot right off the drop. You can fill up your flask, which gives you back energy. I don't technically need to heal yet, but I also really haven't gotten in much of a fight at about half. Oh, I'm starting to get swarmed, so hold on. Let me, um... Can I use my mouse? Hotkey is you. I'm surrounded, so I do want to move away from the fighting. Where I can take them one by one. I don't want to let them get behind me. It's kind of a mistake there. I did get to fill my flask once, but there's no guarantee that'll happen again later, so it's letter U. And we'll recover 100 hit points, but that's it. I don't like leaving areas. I mean, we might have respawn. Respawnability. We can sell our stuff on map, so if you're not big into the whole, um, god, these are fierce. What happens when we die? I do die in every game, so I do always want to check this out. You're knocked out by Grim Salamander in the Cedar Caverns. As you fall unconscious, you lose 172... 172 G. Unspent... Half your unspent JP XP progress. If you get in over your head, you see a state pearl next time. Collected several ingredients. Okay, so I got taken down by a Grim Salamander, but I can sell my stuff. What do I have? I have a hide shield. I should be equipping some of these. Box of mints, a garnet, I can probably just sell. Juicy apple, I could have used some of this, so let me see what I have going on here. The hunter's bow, short sword, my fists. 
How do I um, unclick here? The tutorial probably would have told me. Let's see what hitting start does. This is why I am. Um, I'd shield. We want to equip this, so how do I do that? Put that in my offhand. Weapons. I like doing things on um, keyboard and like in also on keyboard and mouse. With the short bow. So we can just speed run this at this point. We want to fill up our flex as much as possible, and then we're just going to get to the stairs. Because we did loot some. And I want to see what's on the next level. It looks like a rogue light, but it's got these little jobs. Water lets you dodge attack. Can't really, um, it would have been nice if they had tossed that in as a mini game where I can move those, but it looks like they're just randomly placed around. So I can go directly to the next board. If you were going to speed run this, I suppose you would just go straight up. So good crawler. Um, interesting objects, that sort of thing. Link in the description below. Um, also down there is Gamer Grind, Gamer Coffee, Ship to Door. You can put your logo on merch for like nothing bucks. Support the Pirate Queen. Look at her logo. We're amazing. You can slap that on anything. We do also have, you know, your higher end um, t shirts and that sort of thing. But the sticker is awesome because it just lets you send people over. We love it. We found it on 5R. Hold on, so I need to heal. Now he doesn't want to fight me. And it was just so much fun. Um, also, on there's coffee. KOFI, why this chicken coffee when no one make me smile? Um, we do have a more subscription style Patreon. Um, so if you're into Twitch and that sort of thing, you might have a couple people that you're supporting. We find everything that's awesome in indie gaming. It's kind of a jam. So you can harvest here. That's a, that's a lot of fun. And then terrain does affect you. A little bit different, you know? If you want something a little bit different in your crawl where you really have to pay attention to where you're walking and that sort of thing. This is cool. We'll have to check and see what consoles it's on. A lot of times, you know, that'll really affect you into it and that sort of thing. We'll just go up a level. So you can support us on Patreon, you know, while we run around and do the indie dev scene and see what's on it. Um, we tend to find things before they come out. This one, obviously, like I said, it has a huge mod community, and I wanted to um, bring that to real. You know, like, what does that do? Because Skyrim had that, and it's part of what made it so big is that Mr. Howard just did not care if you modded his game, ported it to like frickin' every console and just let people have that. So that was really an innovative way to handle that. Um, obviously when it was when it got big, um, people are really into that sort of thing. I think I might have to take these guys with not one. Together they might be too much. And I also have to heal. Uh, the monsters might not heal it looks like. So that's cool. Uh, that'll give you an edge if you're in trouble. Can I break play pots? I can! How cool. Link in the description below. Um, links for all that stuff is down there. Most of all, subscribe. If you hit subscribe and you hit the bell, you can keep an eye on what's popping up. So it'll let you know what we're doing that day, which is super cool. I came from a family of farmers between growing things since my great grandfather's day. A buddy of mine, the stingiest merchant you ever saw, once told me that money don't grow on trees. Well, these wooden hands of mine are meant for growing things. I took them up on that challenge. I started planting every seed I could find, one day I finally did it. Must have been the last plant bunch of odd seeds I found. Sapling bears are real gemstones. I can't young frog anymore though, so I hope. So all I can do now is leave the fruits of my labor to my children and hope they continue to grow wondrous things for years to come. To learn more about the village. It's really village centric and it's got that mod community to support it. So it popped up a little thumbnail there, and you can just see whether or not you want to join us as we explore Tangle Deep. See if it's your jam. See if you just like, you know, watching us play. Definitely let us know. We're willing to play through this sort of thing and gather that sort of heartwarming story. I don't think it's going to be quite the draw that Van Helsing is, but let us know. We're totally open to hearing from you, or if you're just a lurker, we love that you're along for a ride. So smash subscribe, hit the bell, stay safe, game on, and we will see you in the next video.